What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to make a Caesar cipher encryption function in Visual Basic.net using Visual Studio 2015. So basically what is Caesar cipher? It's a method of encryption uh, I mean alphabets encryption and uh, basically how it works it works by rotating the alphabet so we have a key or an offset or in this case you can call it N so we rotate the letter N times or shift the letter N times so for for example here we have our offset is 23 so what this means is that we are gonna shift this A letter 23 times or 23 other alphabet letters so what we'll get is X and the decryption of this um, cipher text is that we'll shift to the right 26 minus our key so for this example we're gonna shift to the right three times so our key will be three okay and here we have another um, mathematical formula that describes this um, the encryption and decryption of this cipher okay so basically as you notice here is that if we add if we shift for example the G letter 23 times obviously it's gonna be beyond the Z so it's gonna wrap around and finally end with D okay so this was a brief um, description of the Caesar cipher so let's go and see how to implement this function in Visual Basic.net so here I have a form with two text boxes the encrypted text will be represented by text box 1 the original text will be represented by text box 2 we have here encrypt button, decrypt button and here this numeric up down is gonna describe or represent our um, our key or offset which is gonna be obviously ranging from 0 to 25 so what you're gonna wanna do now is go to the code so I'm going to view code and first of all we're gonna start with creating our function so I'm gonna create a function I'm gonna name it Caesar underscore cipher and this function is gonna take some parameters so by val text as string which is gonna be the text that we wanna encrypt or uh, decrypt and we're gonna also take by val n which is our offset as integer and by val encrypt as boolean and what is this encrypt boolean this is actually gonna tell us whether to encrypt or decrypt so we're making a two-in-one function if this makes any sense okay so first of all we're gonna create our result variable so dim result as string so this is gonna be our uh, variable that we are gonna eventually return so return result okay so what you're gonna wanna do now is 
loop on each letter in our receive text or I mean each character so we're gonna make it for each loop for each C which represents the character as char in text dem x as integer so basically why would we need an integer um, what we're gonna want to do is get the ASCII code of the character C and then add to it our offset N and what we're gonna do next is check if this X is greater than the ASCII of the letter Z then this is the case that a wraparound has occurred so what you're gonna wanna do is subtract 26 from this number and if this if this is not the case then our result is gonna be our new letter so we're gonna see now the code to better understand what I'm saying so first of all we're gonna check if encrypt if encrypt is true then x is gonna be equal to ASC and this function is a visual basic built-in function that returns the ASCII code of whatever character you send to it so we're gonna send C and we're gonna add our offset N else what you're gonna wanna do is X is gonna be equal to the ASCII code of C and we're gonna add 26 minus our offset and this is as I told you before for the decryption so what you're gonna wanna do is use char dot is lower of C if C is a lower case then we are probably gonna check if X is greater than the ASCII code of letter small z then x is gonna be minus equal 26 we're gonna subtract 26 from the x as this is the case that a wraparound has occurred okay and uh, our result is gonna be plus equal as we're gonna append on the result chr of x and what is chr? chr is a built-in function in the visual basic that returns the character of whatever ASCII code you send to it and now we're gonna handle the upper case so else f char dot is upper of C then we are gonna copy this code and paste it here and change this small letter Z to a capital letter Z else this is gonna be a number or a character it's not gonna be a uh, letter so we wanna append it to the result directly so result plus equal C and that's it for the function we're gonna give it a test right now so go to the form design I think I should have switched both of these so the encrypt I'm gonna name it decrypt and this decrypt is gonna be encrypt so 
we're gonna double click on this decrypt and then we're gonna type text box to the text equals Caesar cipher and we're gonna send our text which is gonna be in text box one text and then the offset which is gonna be in the numeric up down one the value and then encrypt no it's false as we wanna decrypt and then we're gonna copy this and go to the encrypt button double click on it and paste this right here this is gonna be text box one this is text box two and this is true and we're gonna test our program now so I'm gonna copy the this example here of the plain text and we're gonna paste it in the original text and then encrypt okay I forgot to set the key so it's zero so obviously it's gonna return the same thing so if we make this 23 and then encrypt here we go we have our encrypted text which is similar to this example and if we wanna decrypt this I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna decrypt and we have the original text right here okay so that's it guys for this tutorial and thanks a lot for watching